What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 28 in the math three questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question is just asking us to say which answer choice, which method is most likely to produce a random sample of five students from a school club. So the big skill that this is testing us on is um, how best to take a random sample. Now, the big question that I like to ask whenever I see a problem like this that deals with random samples is the question of who is excluded by each method. So for instance, in choice A, selecting five club members who have brown hair excludes anybody without brown hair. Black hair, dyed hair, blonde hair, red hair. And this doesn't necessarily... I, it wouldn't necessarily mathematically change the opinions that you could get but it does exclude the group of people who don't have brown hair, and so choice A is out. So choice B, selecting the five club members who have raised the most funds for the club, that would exclude people who don't raise funds, and here there would be some kind of bias, because if you're raising funds for a club, you're likely to be really invested in it, and really, really, really have strong opinions about things. Um, so choice B excludes people who don't raise funds, and so choice B is out. Choice C, Selecting five club members from a hat containing the names of all members. So this would be like a slip of paper, reach in and grab five thing. Okay, this one looks pretty good. This one looks like it doesn't exclude anybody. But let's knock out choice D just to be sure. So, and choice D says selecting the five club members who arrive last to a club meeting. Now this excludes the people who arrive first. If you arrive last, you likely maybe had something else to do or are not that committed to the club, you're just doing it to get an extracurricular on your record. So this would exclude the people who arrive first. And since choice C is the only choice that doesn't, or that we can't say excludes anybody, choice C is our answer. Selecting five club members from a hat containing the names of all members. And again, whenever you see a question like this that asks you about random samples, just ask yourself who is excluded in each of the methods. And the method where the fewest people or nobody is excluded should be your answer.